Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on a new feature that's been added to PCSX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator. Now nobody's talking about it, but I think it's a big deal and that people should be hyped about it because it's implemented something which other emulators I imagine will do now and um, if they don't, I don't know why. But this feature is amazing because it's fixed an issue that myself and so many others have been experiencing. Um, I've put a link to the PCSX2 page to download the latest build from in the description. You'll come to this page here and you'll want to scroll down to nightly builds, click on windows if you're on Windows and you want the AVX2 QT. If you don't have AVX2 and your processor uh, processor is ancient, uh, you might want SSE4 QT. Anyways, once you have it, we open it and we come into settings and system, I believe it is. No, not system. Um, where is it? I can't remember where it is now. Emulation, there we go. And under frame pacing, latency control, we have this new option called Scout to Host Refresh Rate. Now, if you understand how this works, when there's a mismatch between the refresh rate of the screen and the frame rate of a game, you get intermittent little stutters. Now, a lot of people won't notice them, but a lot of people do. And it makes games unplayable if you're picky like me. Now what this new feature does is because when the PlayStation 2 was around it was for a TV and all NTSC TVs were 59.94 frames per second which was abbreviated to 60. Now monitors don't adhere to that standard. You could have a monitor with 60.02 Hz refresh rate or 59.98 or 59.8 something as an old one I see before was point is they're all slightly different so unless your your frame rate uh, your monitor refresh rate is exactly 59.94 it's not going to match what the original PlayStation 2 game was outputting to the screen resulting in minor stutters and it, it's intermittent it's a constant interval almost constant it could be every it could be every few seconds every 20 seconds depending on your refresh rate etc now with your nvidia control panel or amd settings windows display settings says 60 hertz 59.94 etc that means nothing you need to go online and look at the um, refresh rate checker just google it one will come up and it will show you your exact refresh rate and you'll notice 99.9% .9 monitors don't match 59.94 frames. So with this new setting ticked, it will match, it will v-sync exactly at your monitor's refresh rate. And for me, this has made the world of difference, especially in games like, um, well, in any games, I'm playing Gran Turismo, Taurus Trophy, uh, Time Splitters, RC Revenge, Initial D, anything, it's completely smooth now. And it's all thanks to this this new setting here. So yeah, it's it's a brilliant new feature and I think it needs to be talked about or it needs to be known about so that it can be implemented in other emulators. Anyways, that was all I wanted to go through for the video, so Go and grab yourself the latest version of PCSX2, tick this new feature and set your screen to 60Hz and if you was experiencing any stutters before, see what a difference this makes, it's brilliant. And then another thing I'd like to add is if you're running a PAL game, you will still want to leave this ticked but you'll want to set your refresh rate to 50Hz in your settings, whether it's NVIDIA Control Panel, 
AMD radio on settings, etc. Set it to 50 hertz whilst you're playing that 50 hertz game. And then set it back to 60 when you're playing 60 hertz, etc. But yeah, such an amazing feature. And um, yeah, that's all for today. So um, enjoy the rest of your day. And if you found this video helpful, then um, don't hesitate to click that thumbs up, leave a like, and maybe even subscribe. Okay, peace out.